Hey guys, what's up? Um, I wanted to show you a quick tutorial about some sort of spline dynamics with bones. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's very simple. Um, and it's an animation we've had keyframes. So here you can see this creature. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's um, a jellyfish or so. And I can just grab his body and move the fella around and this tentacles will just follow along. I can rotate it and move it and it will just yeah like I said follow along. So I'll show you real quick how to create this. It's really simple. Here we go. Let's start a new file, new scene. Add a sphere. Make it editable and make the shape a little bit more interesting. Something like this. And then in the top view, let's create a spline as a base for the tentacle. Enable snap, it's a little bit easier. And draw a few points like here, another one here, 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 and let's do one more. Somewhere like here. Hit escape. And the spline is done. Here it is. And now let's add a circle as a guide. Circle. Make it a bit smaller, like 25 centimeters. And add a sweep nerp. Add a circle. Make it the child of the sweep. Add the spline. Here we go. Our object. To make it a little bit more interesting and look like a tentacle, go to the sweep nerves and find this skill setting. And what you can do is make the endpoint smaller. Something like this. And I think the circle is still a little bit too big. So make it smaller. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Okay, um, to make this thing dynamic, what we can do is add bones. So go to the top view again, go to the character menu, and hit the join tool. Hold control, and click to add a bone. And let's use the same points as the spline. Another one here, and the end point here. So what we have now, is a um, a sort of bone system and I made a little mistake I was still in my circle so it's the child of the circle now so let's drag it just out that's fine and if we grab this join we can oh let's go out of point mode go to object mode and we can just move this around they're all parented and in order to make this tentacle move along with our bones, what we can do is bind it. Um, to bind bones to your mess, mesh, um, it does not work with a sweep object. So grab the whole thing, hit right click and say connect objects and delete. Now, select the first joint, hold shift, select the whole thing, hold control, also select the tentacle, then go to character, commands, hit bind. What this will do is it will add a skin object to our tentacle, our mesh, and bind it to the joints. So if we move the joint now, it will come along. The mesh will bend. Um, it looks a bit stiff or low poly. So what we can do about that is add a subdivision service and you just put the uh, sweep nerves, make a child of it, of the subdivision surface. And now it's it's a bit better. Okay, so what we can do to make this thing dynamic is m first make this an I keychain. And an I keychain will bind the root of the bone spline 
to the end of it. Let's, so let's grab our first join, right click, go to character tags and add the IK tag. Go to the tag and in the end field just set the end bone in the end field. This will draw a line. It's not visible yet but there's a line between this point and the end point so it's connected now. And to make this dynamic go to the dynamic step and just enable it. Nothing seems to happen but if we hit play it's dynamic. So we can grab our our joint point, move it around and it will just it's dynamic. It will follow along. Um, yeah, so now we have just one tentacle and we want to have more. So it's super easy. We can just add a cloner in the MoCraft menu, cloner, and make the. Um, mm, let's, let's grab the tentacle and the root, hit Alt G to group it. Let's call it tentacle. Then make the tentacle a child of the cloner. And here we are. Um, what we can do to make it a circle is go to the mode and let's say radial. And the plane should be, I think, Z, Y, no, X, Z, yes. It doesn't look like it's aligned. That's true because there's a radius here. Um, so if you set it to zero, it will be just in the center, and that's exactly what we want. I also want it to be a bit lower, so we can just move the cloner down. So there, there. Let's hit the play button again. Um, and all it's still, it's a cloner, but they all are still dynamic. And what we can do is make the cloner child of the sphere. So if you move the sphere, it will follow. And for visual, let's just create a simple new material. Let's add a nice color. I don't know. Maybe like the example, just blue. Add it to the sphere, and the whole thing is blue. What I also would like to do is these bones are a bit big, and what we can just say is um, go to the bones and display set none. We don't need them anymore, so now it's a bit more clear. And since this is a cloner, um, we see now five tentacles, but we can just say let's do eight or 10 or 38, it doesn't matter. It will still work. But that's say 8 for now. And also I think they point a little bit too much outwards. So in the transform tool, go to the rotation and just do what you prefer. Maybe maybe it just looks like um, like maybe jellyfish or octopus, I don't know. Let's hit play and try how this looks. It looks pretty good. I think it's, the tentacles are a bit stiff. So what we can do is go to this IK tag, IK tag, go to dynamics and change the track like a little bit more like it's underwater. Let's change it to 70. It moves a little bit more slower. And to make this a bit more interesting and let it move out of itself, we can add a vibrate tag to the sphere. So let's go to Cinema 4D Tags, say Vibrate, enable position, change the values to something like 250, 250, 250, and the frequency to something slow because it's underwater, like 0 0.2. And here we go. Let's extend our timeline a bit. And what we also can do is enable rotation to make it a bit more interesting. 
So enable it, let's say 30 degrees is fine, all directions, and frequency just like 0 0.2. Hit play again, and here it is. And you, you can just basically animate this thing and yeah, use it whatever you want to. You can make all sorts of animals with this, I think. Um, yeah, just play along with these settings. Okay guys, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, hope it will be useful, and see you next time.